Dan from Marine Repair. Welcome back to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, I got a really nice specimen for you guys. Right here, I have a nice blenny for you. This one here is called the Lipstick Blenny or the Horse Face Blenny as well. It's got nice little horns, it's got a nice camouflage color so it blends in with the rock. Um, what's great about these, by having this blenny, it does help with uh, al algae control, different kinds of different algae. Um, when, you know, when you have new established tanks, you're going to have sometimes have those algae blooms, things are going to take off. Depends on you know how your water quality is going. But as you guys can see, the tanks are looking pretty good. So I end up, he's going to go in a tattoo one here on the left. That's going to be his tank. I'm planning on hopefully getting uh, three different blennies for each tank so we can learn a little bit about each one. So what we have to do right now, I'll bring you guys in close to the first one's camera so you guys can really see, see him up close with his markings because I don't know after we put him in the tank, he's probably going to go hide and we may not be able to see him, but we'll definitely try guys. So what we have to do now is we've got to acclimate this fish with acclimation. Well, we have to make sure the water, the temperature is the same that's in, that it came in right here. And then we have to check the salinity and make sure everything matches up because we don't want to shock this fish. You know, he's been through a lot already, you know, packaging from the store, from the oceans. Um, these ones here, they originate from uh, Caribbean as well. So we got to get this, uh, we're going to use the drip system today, like I used in my previous videos. Uh, we're going to drip uh, acclimate this fish. So it's going to go pretty good. I'm pretty excited to get him in uh, Datawan right there. It's going to be great, guys. So let's, uh, let's come in close. Let's check out this fish. And then we're going to do the drip. And then we're going to learn a little bit about him in uh, his new home. All right, guys? Here's our specimen. So he's the, uh, the red lipstick blenny, known as the horse uh, face blenny as well. Um, they originate from uh, the Caribbean Ocean. Um, his body blends in with the black and red with the yellow markings and camouflage on the body and his fins. This fish uh, carries four small branches, horns on its head. Um, the nose is very blunt, which gives the species a unique horse-like appearance. Well, these ones here, they're good for you know, 30 gallons and larger. Um, make sure they have lots of multiple uh, swimming, um, lots of different uh, rock in your tank as well, for, so they can uh, hide. This good, uh, anything, a larger tank, you can probably uh, house two of them, but just having one is plenty. You don't want any other fish that has the same kind of body type become very aggressive uh, to each other. So there you go guys, up and close and personal, you guys get to see him before I put him in the tank. So we're going to have to get him acclimated right now, that's going to be the next process. So when we get him in the tank, he might take off and hide the rocks, we might not be able to see him, but we'll definitely give it a whirl, alright? We're at Tatawan, I got my quarter inch with my bell, so right now we're going to do the, the dripping uh, acclimation. So what we're going to do, is we're going to put your one end in your tank, and next, we're gonna get we're gonna put the other end down in the bucket, and then this valve. We're gonna get the nice perfect drip. And we're gonna do that for an hour. It's very important to acclimate your fish. We don't want to stress it out before we get into the tank. It's already you know on its journey to get here. It's been a rough ride. So we got to get the other end down in here, guys. We just siphon it, put it in here, and we're just gonna let that drip, and then we just adjust the flow. So I'm gonna I'll come in here, and you guys can check it in. All right guys, so here you guys can see the blenny. Now I just see that I got the perfect amount of uh, drip there. So we're gonna do this about an hour and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get the, this red lipstick blenny in his new home, guys. <clears throat> All right guys, so here at Tatawan, I got my net. So we're gonna, we're gonna net him out and we're gonna place him in the tank. He's all acclimated, cylinder is the same temperature. So everything's perfect, so we shouldn't have a problem here. So we're going to net him out. What the best thing is to try to not get his, uh, any of this water back into your main display. And then we can go from there, guys. So let's let's uh, net him. They're getting, they can get jumpy, so you got to be careful. Then we can release him. He's probably going to hide. There he goes. All right. So right now he's just hiding underneath the cliff there. So this would be great to have him in here. So when you have all these different uh, animals like this, he's gonna keep the rock nice and clean. Any kind of different algae, so leave that. So you know we have all our snails. So the more you know the snails, anything you have in there that'll graze on algae, it's gonna keep our tank a lot cleaner. And you know any debris or leftover food. That's why it's it's really great to have all those different kind of uh, cleaners in your tank. So this is the lipstick blenny for this tank, guys. Um, I can't wait to show you what other blennies we're gonna get into the other two tanks as well. So we'll give him a little bit of time. Maybe I'm gonna try to feed him. So maybe he'll come out and we can actually get him on camera. So all the other tank mates are uh, hiding right now. So we got some uh, raw uh, food right now. 
we're gonna try and see if we can uh, coax some of them out and see if they'll come and feed a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a little chunk here. See if we can get some, uh, some of the tank mates to come out to feed a little bit. It's worth a shot. Oh, some of the blue uh, reef chromies are coming out to feed, as you guys can see. Watch them go. They're a little skittish right now. So they're feeding away. So maybe we might, might not see the bunny come out today. We'll have to do it in another previous video as he gets uh, more established and used to the tank. Gail Tang's coming out to feed. I love that Rod's food. I love checking that out. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We learned a little bit about the lipstick Blenny. Um, hopefully we can tune into another episode. We'll get up close and personal, see what's going on. And then we're going to get the other Blennies into the other tank. And uh, as soon as we get all the tank baits in here, we're going to start adding all the corals, guys. So thanks for tuning into this episode. You guys can please subscribe and hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. And please leave any comments below, and I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, gang. Bye.